Hi guys, welcome to this video which is going to focus on what happens when you react metal oxides and hydroxide with acids. So this video is going to focus on what happens when they react with acids. However, if you want more detail on word equations, click here. This will go through all the different word equations for acids and reacting with metals, metal oxides and metal carbonates. Balancing equations, how to write them from scratch, click on this video here. And then finally, writing ionic equations. It would be useful to get yourself familiar with these three videos before you carry on with this one. Now the general equation for when you put a metal oxide or a metal hydroxide into an acid is you get a salt, and in this case, water. So both of them will produce water as the byproduct and your normal salt. As you can see here, I've put calcium oxide into hydrochloric acid and I've produced calcium chloride and water. Now here I've added solid calcium oxide, therefore that is going to dissolve. So when you talk about the balanced equation for it and what you will see, you will see a solid dissolve and that will be everything because you're producing water. The naming of the salts is exactly the same. Hydrochloric gives you a chloride, nitric gives you a nitrate and sulfuric gives you a sulfate. The only difference in terms of observations of what you'll see between an oxide and a hydroxide is based on solubility. So here I'm putting sodium hydroxide, which is soluble, in with my hydrochloric acid. And as you can see, apart from the little bits of the solid sodium hydroxide which have fallen in, not much has happened. You can't see anything happening between the two. Right, again, to be able to answer these questions, it would really help if you can write the word and the symbol equations. So please go back to the beginning of this video, click on the links and have a go at those videos first. If you've done that, let's have a go at questions one and two. Question one says, look at the two balanced equations for the reactions between sodium oxide and sodium hydroxide with hydrochloric acid. Describe why you wouldn't see a reaction occurring with sodium hydroxide, but you would with sodium oxide. So in particular, look at the state symbols, it's all down to state symbols, these type of questions, and tell me what you would and wouldn't see and why. Question two, insoluble lithium oxide, Li2O, reacts with nitric acid, HNO3, to form lithium nitrate, LiNO3, and water. Write the balanced equation for the reaction. Again, if you're not sure how to do that, go back to the beginning of this video, click on the link on balancing equations. Pause the video, have a go now. Okay, so why would you not see a reaction occurring with sodium hydroxide, but you would with sodium oxide? Nice and simply, it's down to the state symbols. Sodium oxide is a solid, therefore it's an insoluble base. That would get you one mark. The sodium oxide will dissolve. You can see it's dissolved because it's gone from a solid over here and you've not got a solid on the right hand side. So it's dissolved, the solid will disappear. You could have also put sodium hydroxide is already dissolved, so there will be no change. You're starting off with aqueous, you're ending up with aqueous and a liquid, so you won't see any solid or any gas being formed, which makes it very difficult to see the chemical reaction occurring. Question two says, write the balanced equation. Now, this one's only worth two marks because they've given you the majority of it in the question. So you're starting off with lithium oxide, which is Li2O, you're reacting it with nitric acid, HNO3. It says it's forming lithium nitrate, which is LiNO3, and water, which you should know is H2O. By putting all that together and taking it from the question, that's got you one mark. The second mark is for the balancing. So if you see over here, I've got two lithiums. On the right, I've only got one. One oxygen, one oxygen. One hydrogen, two hydrogens. One nitrogen, one nitrogen. Three oxygens, three oxygens. So, because my hydrogens, I've got two here and one there. That's the one I'm going to start with, and I'm going to double this. By doing that, I've got two hydrogens, two hydrogens. I've now got two nitrogens and only one over here, so I'm going to double that, which gives me two lithiums, two lithiums, two nitrogens, two nitrogens, and then in here, six oxygens and six oxygens, which is completely balanced. So for your balancing, that gets you your second mark. That's about it for this video. There is a review question which says, for the reaction between lithium hydroxide, LiOH, and nitric acid, write the word equation and the balanced equation, including state symbols. 
And that brings this video to an end. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe down below. And you can also find out more information on my website, mrbarnstc.com, and Facebook and Twitter.